so today we have an absolutely great meeting with a very important parliamentary delegation in Ukraine. This delegation represents all the Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Finland. And this visit is extremely symbolic right now when Ukraine needs to demonstrate the significant progress in uh, liberating Ukrainian territory, Ukrainian soil, and to have a promotion and advocacy for Ukrainian candidacy status, for Ukrainian future NATO membership. And we even speak that, who knows, maybe in Vilnius on the NATO summit, we agreed with the, well, I'm as the head of the delegation, that uh, we will fight for the membership action plan for Ukraine. Uh, my name is Laima Andrikenia. I am chairperson of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the Lithuanian Parliament. And delegations of uh, foreign affairs committees of uh, parliaments of uh, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania and Finland are in Ukraine since yesterday. So our main goal is to express our support to Ukraine, to the Ukrainian people, to all of you. And uh, because of uh, enormous uh, sacrifices you have made, the Ukrainian people have made and continue making those sacrifices. We are with you and of course we will be with you until the very end, victorious end. Uh, it is uh, for us a wonderful opportunity also to express our full support to independence, sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine within internationally recognized borders. We had a wonderful opportunity to discuss different issues with our colleagues in Verkhovna Rada, with uh, President uh, Petro Poroshenko just a minute ago, with uh, uh, also in the Ministry of Defense and, and uh, uh, advices to the President, sanctions. Uh, our assistance to Ukraine, uh, uh, our support, all possible kinds of support, military, financial, humanitarian, political, diplomatic, on expert level, and at the same time pressure on Russia to stop their war machine, to stop uh, feeding that war machine. I have in mind, uh, uh, you know, profits they receive from uh, their energy exports and, and so on. We also had a, an opportunity to discuss with your prosecutor general uh, that those responsible for war crimes and crimes against humanity, they should be brought to justice. And they have in mind the highest officials of the Russian Federation. Because we, we are dealing with the country which is, which is supporting terrorism, is a terrorist state. And what we see, those crimes, brutality committed by the Russian army in Ukraine is nothing else than genocide of the Ukrainian nation. And uh, there is no place for actions like this in the 21st century. We also spoke about your candidate status, uh, EU candidate status. And we are here to express, to say that we are sh ready to share our experience. We will push forward as much as we can that you start accession negotiations as soon as possible. And we would be happy to share our experience, to receive your status from the parliament, to show how we were, you know, doing things. To meet those requirements, recommendations uh, uh, listed by the European Commission. Uh, so good luck, good luck, and uh, you can count on us. We are not uh, very big countries. Yeah, we are, <laughs> but but we are with you, with yeah. Ukraine, by Ukraine, and we will remain like this. Я хочу подякувати пані Лаймі, як голові комітету з кордонних справ Литовського парламенту. Хочу подякувати іншим членам делегації, головам комітету закордонних справ Фінляндії, нашого доброго друга з Естонії, Марка, голову комітету, з Латвії. І на сьогоднішній день це є позиція справжніх друзів, адвокатів України, адвокатів нашого майбутнього членства в НАТО, адвокатів наших 
початку переговорів щодо статусу кандидата, щодо, точніше, кандидатства повноцінного члена Європейського Союзу і наших партнерів в захисті українського суверенітету, в зупинці і перемоги над російським агресором. І «friend in need is a friend in deed». І це позиція справжніх друзів, справжніх партнерів, які ми дуже цінуємо. Пані Лайма, всі члени делегації, я дуже дякую вам від імені українців. Дякую. Дякую.